all right what is up you guys i am back for another video today we are going to be showcasing my boy 100 percent rainbowed ssj blue vegeto the original beast that came out and absolutely changed the game forever <laughs> Now, mind you, when I say this, um, around the time when Vegito Blue and AGL Rose came out, um, from my knowledge, there were no super and extreme type leaders that would really give that that 50%, as you can see, or any kind of percentage-wise, after giving um, a specific, uh, excuse me, a specific three key uh, for just specific super classes instead of uh, you know mono types and everything uh because we had just got out of the mono team uh meta i guess you could say something like that and we moved on into actually i guess you could say creeping into that first step and opening the door to categories in a sense because this is where it originated from going from you know super types and extreme types which are heroes and villains obviously and then we started moving into um revive warriors and Hybrid saying, uh, fusion category, shadow, dry, all these categories started to appear and started to be created after, um, you know, messing around with the hero types and uh, extreme type categories. So I want to go ahead and do a quick showcase on this man. Let's go look at his stats real quick. So obviously he has the super class plus three key HP and attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack is the final Kamehameha, which is uh, causes immense damage to the enemy. But his passive, this is what made him basically almost a unit that broke the game when he first came out. He already has, um, at the beginning, you can see he has a great chance to launch up two additional attacks, each of which has a chance to become a super attack. And then off after that, he not only does that, he has counters. Damage received from normal attacks, minus 30% with a counter with tremendous power so additionals um you don't really have to in a sense you wouldn't really uh worry about that but i you know obviously i went in and did the um i think i believe i did what did i do uh 14 additionals and 12 crits yeah so i went on and did the uh, basic 14 additional and 12 crit scenario but you know he already comes with uh you know a added chance to do additional attacks obviously and then they can become supers and on top of that, if you focus on quit, uh, excuse me, crits, he's going to be basically doing additional supers. And with that uh, chance of being an additional super, he's also going to be crit, uh, putting crits out left and right. <laughs> so he's absolutely broken at a 100%. And you guys are going to see that today. Moving on to his link skill, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, prepare for battle, power bestowed by God, fuse fighter, over in a flash, and fierce battle. These links are freaking legendary. First off, prepare for battle is at two key. Over in a flash, at three key. Fuse fighter, two more key. Um, fierce battle, obviously, activates the fierce battle link. Then you got the super saiyan, Kamehameha, power so by God. All these links right here being activated across the board are going to make this man basically hit hard as hell. <laughs> and then moving on to his categories, he's in the realm of gods, Plotara, fusion saga, and time travelers category as well looking at his uh max stats before being rainbowed and after being rainbowed he jumps up from hp being at 12 12k uh jumping up to 15k uh attack 13k jumping up to 16k and defense 6k jumping up to about 9k so roughly 10k if you want to well, not 10k but uh you know what i mean but yeah roughly about 10k if you want to just uh in a sense round that up or think of it that way but over and all, my boy gets busted. So let's go look at the team that we brought today, actually. The team that we brought, um, I tried my best not to put too many units that were new on here and tried to keep it around. The only newer unit that I brought that I can really just say would be uh, with the newer units I brought would be the Gogeta, obviously, the Super Saiyan 4, and then also the um, Physical Android 18, uh, 17, excuse me, from the Terminator Power, the MVP himself. Just to give that extra uh, attack and key support. Um, going over the rest of the team, we also brought the AGL Super Vegito, which is rainbowed. Um, and then also another friend, um, Vegito Blue, that is, I think, 79%. Yes. And then we also brought the 
SSJ for SCR Goku and also the Intent Gogeta which is also a rainbow and I did a video on that so I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys want to check that out. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We're in the boss rush stage 6 and we're going to at least do the Bardock and some of the Harutagon event just to see how this team with an old meta leader which is only 50% see how they fare against these um these newer boss uh boss rush events and you know just to see how they do so let's go ahead and hop in um unfortunately we don't have the vegeto on the same rotation which happens a lot when um i'm recording actually <laughs> where you get in and you don't have the correct units and you don't want to have to keep going out because i this is the first actual vegeto physical vegeto blue that i found that was above 50 percent um in the dupe system because everybody's obviously running the new um tech vegeto blue and the scr lr vegeto blue so let's go ahead and hop into this like i said and we're gonna leave these two on rotation actually so we'll give those to gogeta get those to ssha4 gogeta and then we'll get these to vegeto another thing i really liked about this car is just the fact that you could run um the time he came out most people had the agl super vegeto and just having both of them oh my goodness <laughs> i just saw that crit but um having him uh the agl super vegeto and then having a vegeto blue on your team the physical one is just absolutely busted because you have both of them countering back and forth um mind you they don't counter supers obviously for those who don't know but um but countering with tremendous power and then the fact that they can be crits is stupid broken and then the fact that you have uh vegeto blue just constantly getting supers like i've seen this man super at least four to five times um you know back to back to back and i was just like bro you gotta stop <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and see um how much damage you can get off against this physical bardock here uh we'll get the use of goku and then vegeto you can have these at the end Let's see, can we get a crit here? Unlucky. A little under underwhelming in this event, but you know it is uh, neutral damage going on right now, so Goku's gonna be doing most of the damage in this round. And then again, we're only getting a 50% <laughs> buff. <laughs> there's a crit, I love it. And there's an additional, can we get additional super to finish off? Nah, the counter will though. And a crit on the counter, look at that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this team, if, especially if you run a sealer, um, and I know sealers are kind of insignificant um, in this time where most people can't, uh, most bosses in the events can't be either sealed or they can't be stunned. They become insignificant in a sense, but um, the events that you do run across that you can do that with, if you keep uh, the enemy sealed, just having the Vegito, so that means you would run a physical go tanks in the place of this. Uh, physical 17 here having him sealing in the back and then just basically throwing vegeto and um vegeto blue in front of all attacks having them counter back to back to back to back it's just it's just beautiful i love it <laughs> you're not gonna take any damage you're just gonna be outputting damage and then just having uh this gogeta right here this ssa4 gogeta with the counters um he has a 70 percent chance to counter and then he also can um, output for, I think, Tremendous. I don't know. I have to go back and check. Uh, and then you also have Gogeta, who is doing type advantage to every type, no matter who you are. He just doesn't care. He doesn't watch. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, get wrecked, my boy. <laughs> he doesn't care. Nice. And 17 should be the... I don't remember... Bar, uh, Bardock is attacking in the back, but he should be able to tank that pretty decent. Nice. Now, like I said, mind you, this is only a 70%, um, not 70%, but 50% uh, for both sides. So about 100% in total coming from uh, both leaders if you're running a dual leader. Obviously, you will. We're going to leave Super Vegito in the front just because we have type disadvantage right here. nice and just having both of them doing that going back and forth getting crits for 200k doing uh attacks for almost 500k 
they're just dumb. They are best friends on this team. This was like the dynamic duo before Goku and Vegeta came out. Uh, the SSJ Force. This was the dynamic duo, and not, you couldn't tell me shit. I promise you. <laughs> now we're actually gonna throw Gogeta off a of rotation here and leave Vegeta here just to show his tanking ability. And this is mine. Um, we'll do that. Give these to Gogeta, and then we'll give those to Gogeta as well. Just get a little bit of health back. Look at that. I <laughs> love it, bro. It, he's so cool. Like, And most people have forgotten about this card because, you know, the hype around uh, Tech Vegito Blue. And another thing that is very... Um, well, we're getting super here. Let's see how much we're going to tank before I finish that. 40k. I love it. <laughs> and the additionals are coming out the ass. Let's go. Can we get another one? Unlucky. But anyway, um, initially the Tech Vegito Blue, as you all know, um, he limits how you can build your team in the sense where they have to be all five types on the team, uh, which will be Int, Fizz, STR, Tech, and AGL, obviously. So you have to have a type of you have have to have one of every type on the team, and then you can have an extra one that would be like an extra Tech or you know so on and so on, compared to Tech Vegito, not Tech Vegito, but Physical Vegito right here. He was basically the GOAT with this uh, leader skill because he was he's basically transforming Goku. Um, how, you know, he has all uh, super types plus 120%, which is Vegito's same leader skill, but doesn't have that restriction to where you have to have all types. So think about this. Uh, physical Vegito Blue right here. He didn't have those limitations. He didn't have where you had to have like a certain type. As long as you had all super types on his team, his leader skill activated. I probably should heal here, but we're fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, you didn't have a chance, my boy. <laughs> but um, he didn't limit your team to that. He didn't ask you to have specific types or anything like that. He just wanted you to have, well, he did have specific types, but he didn't ask you to have, um, you know, specific colors or, you know, a certain amount of specific colors. It was, they, they just had to be super. Uh, to leave it at that um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and use a sensu being here because i don't want to die but um yeah he didn't he were he disregarded those limitations so when tech vegeto blue came out he lost uh prepared for battle which obviously physical vegeto does have i believe yeah he has prepared for battle which he lost and i forgot what else he picked up but um he lost that, and Prepare for Battle is a very, very well-known link used between um, a lot of hero cards, because most of the hero cards that you're going to be running are Super Saiyans, and are Saiyans, and they are, most of them do have Prepare for Battle, which is very frustrating. So, people who pulled Tech Vegito Blue at that time, um, if they were new to the game, thinking that they would be able to just make uh, a team based off of just Super types, a lot of people were confused about that, I remember. But uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and leave him in the front. Why not? Hopefully we don't get super there. And Gogeta's gonna do most of our damage for us. And then we'll just give these to Goku in the back. Hopefully, I don't think he'll make it past this round, but he shouldn't, but we'll see. Nice, got the crit. That's one super. We'll get another one, Vegito, come on. That's a crit, nice. Another one. I'm lucky. But yeah, so far, I, you know, I feel very proud of this team. Um, actually, they're making it pretty far. Even though we did have to use one item, but, you know, it's fun. Oh, we got the additional super. Stop it, dude. <laughs> this isn't your video. Oh, he's probably going to super Goku in the back. That's going to hurt. <laughs> Is that, is that what you're gonna do, Bardock? You're gonna super in the back? Oh, you didn't super. Lit. Nice. Alright, let's see. We'll go ahead and leave. Uh, how do I wanna do this? We'll leave my AGL Vegito in the front. We're actually gonna pop King Emma here. Just because I don't wanna die right here. But uh, we're gonna leave him in the front. Actually, no, we'll leave this Vegito in the front, actually. Since we just used the King Yama. And then. 
If this is uh, AGL Vegito, you can have those. And Gogeta, you can have that one. Oh, we're going to Dokkan attack as well. Nice. I'm glad I didn't put AGL Vegito there because I wouldn't pay attention to my Dokkan meter. Let's see how much output. I wish it was mine. Um, we didn't get it with mine, but it's fine. 79%. Ooh, I missed one. We should still be able to possibly pull off this crit. He put him in the correct positions. <laughs> A weird advice to you guys. Um, when you have your dupes, go for the top left and then the bottom right. Unless you have um, SA. Oh, 500k dupes. Whoop his ass. Let's go. <laughs> An additional super. Let's go, my boy. But um, but yeah, make sure you go top left and then bottom right first. That's always the best route because you can go ahead and get your additionals and suit, um, crits out of the way, and then you can go fill in the upper right and bottom left and lo lower left, however you want to put that in perspective. But that's the smarter way. I've been seeing a lot of people do it backwards, and I think it's just because it, they've been impatient or something like that. But if you do have to wait until you get that unit to SA10, don't throw that last dupe in because. Unless you've been like summoning on a banner back to back to back or anything like that, just save your dupe and put it up somewhere. Because me, myself, I have a dupe for my Android 21, but I only have one copy, so I'm waiting until I get her SA10 so I can throw it in bottom right first and then I'll focus on her upper left and all that other stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I feel like I got off topic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got, oh, uh, this team actually did pretty good. Um,. If you're still watching, go ahead and comment something random, like hot sauce or something. I don't know. Just let me know how you enjoyed the video. And if you guys are um, still running any older teams, what is, um, you know, what are you guys running? And if you guys did summon back then on these banners, which ones did you guys go for first? Did you go for the Vegito Blue uh, physical or did you go for the AGL um, Goku Black Rose? Let me know in the comment section. And also, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright, so. I just finished streaming. And I decided to do a single, right? Um, hold on. I got music playing in the background. Hold on for a second. Let me stop all extracurricular activities for a second. Because, uh, so you guys can hear me. There's a YouTube app in the background. Uh, alright, stop. Alright, thank you. But Jesus here. <laughs> And I wanted to get this on camera. So, as you can see, I just finished streaming. I'm about to pull this. I don't know who it is. But I'm really hoping for Gogeta. We got the Super Saiyan 4. Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> On the first one, bro. Oh my god. I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, if that was what the Vegeta was for, I'll take it. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. And what's the last one? Evil Blue. I'll take it. <laughs> I will most definitely take it. I'll take it. On a random multi, I'll take it. And I guess I'll throw this in as a bonus clip or something for you guys. I just hit my mic. Uh, yeah. So, GG. <laughs> as always, stay blessed. And keep the good vibes in and bad vibes out. And I think I said it backwards. Keep the good vibes in and bad vibes out. And stay blessed. Peace.